him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. It's time for the only news that matters. And Ace Frehley says there's no hard feelings between him and Justin Hawkins after the darkest frontman called the uh, Kiss guitarist a cunt during the Monster the Rock cruise. Both men performed at the event which ran from March 2nd to 7th. Other artists on the bills were Joe Satriani, Quiet Riot, KK Priest, and this discourse arose after Fraley was late for one of his sets, uh, causing the darkness who were going on after him to be delayed. So Hawkins says, let me tell you a little story. You'll notice I wear a watch on stage. Some of you think he has to regard the time because he wants to get back and eat the prawn sandwiches in the dressing room. Uh, there's a bit of truth in that, but I think the important thing about rock and roll is punctuation. Somebody overran and thus we were late coming on stage. I apologize to all of you. And then he said he wasn't going to name names. He said, I think some of the writer requirements are a bit difficult to sort in the middle of the fucking Caribbean. One of those being a wig adhesive. I'm talking about Ace Frehley. And then Hawkins finishes his rant by saying, I don't give a fuck if you're the biggest rock star in the world. You make the darkness late, you are a cunt. In a conversation with UCR's Matt Wardlaw, Frehley revealed that he and Hawkins became friends after the tirade. He said he's hysterical. He's a real funny guy. He just says crazy stuff out of left field, you know. And Justin came over to me and apologized, and we shook hands. And we were just talking about, you know, my record and stuff. We got to know each other a little. He's a great guy. The positive vibes seem to be mutual, as Hawkins has spoken glowingly about Fraley's new album on his podcast. A said, whatever he said on the cruise, that might have come off as off color. I just let it slide. Because I know deep in my heart he loves the record, so I just said, I want to be friends with this guy. So uh, there you go. (laughs) Wig adhesive. Ouch. That was brutal. Now, I saw this report on YouTube where there's some parts of the story missing. How... After the whole incident, Ace was pissed off about it. And then the next day, even like somebody said, Laura was even pissed off about it. And Ace was in a, he was part, he was in the dining area of the ship. And Ace had a bunch of bodyguards, so nobody would go up to him. Where Justin Hawkins is walking around with, he doesn't care. Because he goes into the dining area, and somebody, you know, he was talking to some dude about Ace and stuff, and he said, look, Ace is over there. And Justin said, you know what, man, I'm going to go talk to him. So he went up to him, and uh, he was explaining to Ace, look, man, where I'm from, we bust balls, and we make fun of each other, and blah, 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 no hard feeling, blah, blah, blah. And I guess Ace took it well, and then he said later, you know, that <laughs> wing adhesive. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, really, what has happened to Ace Frehley's wig? You know, I mean, we we saw him balding, like, in the 2000s after he left Kiss. You see the big receding hairline. You see him losing it at a rapid rate. I don't know. He might have been wearing a wig during the last days of Kiss, too. I'm not sure. But then he got a wig after that that was pretty good. It was a cool wig. It was put on right. It, I mean, we all knew it was fake because we're Ace Frehley fans. We know what he looked like before and after. But to the casual, I think that early wig could have been convincing to people that 
you know, hey, you know, I don't keep up with Ace Frehley, you know, but hey, there he is, wow, that's, you know, and they don't notice, oh shit, what's up with that thing on his head? Well, that's how it is now. His wig now, it's, it seems to be a little crooked, and I don't know, it's not put on as well it was, as it was before. I think he may need a new wig. Maybe this is the first wig he bought, and now it's all disheveled, so he needs to go get another wig. Because Justin even said, man, you know, it's hard to get wig adhesive in the high seas. <laughs> it was part of his, it was part of his rider. Oh man, I'm no darkness fan, but I gotta admit this guy's funny, man. I mean, yeah, he's funny when he sings too. I see, I heard, you know, when he hit those high notes, it's kind, of, it's a little too goofy for me. The darkness, like. I can't get into the darkness at all, but I think this guy comes off pretty, pretty damn hysterical. Uh, he's like <laughs> ragging on Ace saying that, you know, hey, <laughs> in my rider, I want wig adhesive. <laughs> That's awesome. This dude's hysterical. But you know what? In Ace Frehley's uh, defense, I would say something must have happened for Ace Frehley to go on late because he's not known for this, is he? To be late for shows and shows starting late, like pulling Axl Rose, the stunts at all the shows he plays. Because every time I've seen Ace, I've never had to wait around. So I have a feeling, you know, in the high seas, something weird happened. And uh, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe Ace was being a flake and was late, whatever. But I don't know. It just seems out of character for him, you know? Yes, I am the big Ace Frehley fan, and I like to defend Ace Frehley when possible, but, you know, I can't defend that wig. And not that I care, but I've seen it posted. People on the first week of the 10,000 Vaults album, you know, I was seeing, oh, number one in the rock charts, number one on this, and Amazon, and blah, blah, blah. But, if, but then I saw on the top 200 of the Billboard charts, it was down to like 73 or 74. And then somebody posted today how it's gone. It's not even in the top 200 anymore. So is Steve Brown going to stay with Ace? Because this was hyped to all hell. And now it just seems like it has fallen into a thud. And not that I want, I wish this. Look, I'm not a fan of the album, but I wish it did do great. You know, I want Ace Frehley to succeed. I want him to make a couple million again after he keeps losing it and owes the IRS all that money. I want Ace to make a lot of money off, even if it's a crappy album, I don't care, you know? I love Ace. Even with his chest beating and all those interviews, I kind of understand, because Ace really, to me, is a guy that's surrounded by yes people. You know, you're great, Ace, you're awesome, Ace. You know, Ace comes out and says, I got a better voice than Paul now. Where do you think he heard that from? He heard it from his yes people. And no, Paul's voice is horrible now, but I don't, I don't know, Ace. I don't know if Ace's voice is any better. Yeah, it's pretty down there as well, man. So, yeah, you know, and, but for him to say stuff like that, and, oh, I'm going to embarrass, you know, Gene and Paul on a new album. He, you know, I, I could just picture Ace Fairley in the studio recording Cherry Medicine. And Steve Brown is right there with him, like, man, this is awesome. And Ace is like, yeah, the man. He's like, yeah, it is awesome. I'm going to make Gene and Paul jealous. <laughs> yeah, Ace is saying wacky shit in interviews lately, man, more than before. He did, I mean, in his defense, he went, I don't know, like decades, like now and then saying something, but not as bad as now. Where, you know, Paul has been doing it for decades, and Gene, too, so, you know, they're they're all a bunch of big thousand, you know, and Peter Chris is hiding out. He ain't got nothing to say, which is cool, you know? Peter Chris, uh, I guess, to me, it looks like Peter Chris saved his money and invested it well, and he doesn't need, you know, Kiss or anything or, you know, a solo band or nothing. Retirement, hey, he earned it, man. Peter Chris rules. They fairly rules. Hey, Gene and Paul rule too in their own way. But 
Yeah, there you go. That is the 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 story. Justin Hawkins said that Ace needs wig adhesive. That's hilarious. What do you all think? Are you laughing like me? <laughs> Leave it in the comments below if you are. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring that little notification bell. I really would appreciate that, man. If you subscribe to my channel. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>